In this video, we're going to be going over the perfect trade, Tesla 2020 through 2021. Now, in these videos, I'm going to show you all the power of the setup we're trying to learn. In this video, we're going through Tesla. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, the startup 2020 Tesla makes a huge move up around 165% for a large cap stock, which is very nice. And then we get a nice, huge pullback then bounce during the you know what crash and then it starts making a huge move again so we want to start watching this stock as it starts making these big moves right here and looking for a setup a way to enter this stock so now we see it starts to tighten up it starts making higher lows is riding this 10 day we get a clean bounce off the 20 day and it starts to get very very tight now these lines are not magical they're just there to show you the range because remember this is all this is all just representing supply and demand so as we can see it's starting to get very tight and the stock is about to choose which way it's going to go now I'm going to show you the power of what happens when you catch the right stock with the right setups so I'm going to be keeping track and showing you all what would happen if we took this trade with a $25,000 position and we traded all of the breakouts that Tesla had. So let's go ahead and do it. So right here, we get a solid, solid breakout, clean gap up. We would have entered around, you know, 173, 175. Next, we would have sold, you know, probably would have sold half our position right here at 185 or so. And then we would have trailed the rest with the 10 day, which would have stopped us out right here at 192. So now, as we can see, the stock is still going higher. And if a stock makes a big move, it's generally going to make another big move. Like the leading stocks just keep leading for the most part until the market changes. So we would have been keeping track with this. As we can see, it starts to get tight again. And then we get another big breakout day on some volume. We would have entered back into the stock probably around 206 to 210 in that area and then continue to ride it forward as you can see on the probably third or fourth day we would have sold some maybe around 265 is where we would have sold half our position and then trailed the rest and we would not have got stopped out until 303 now if we keep moving tesla continues to provide incredible opportunities here and this one was a little crazy because we get this nice shakeout down here but it comes right back into the range and then breaks it very cleanly so we would have entered here it's a little bit trickier, but maybe around 305, 306. We'd have sold half our position on this day, probably around you know 350, maybe even 360 if you waited. And then we would have trailed all the way up until this day. We would have been stopped out around 407. Now, this is the beautiful power of this type of setup is we would have sat out all of this right here. So we would have had our money in something else during these whole, you know, two or three months here. We would have missed all of this chop. But as we can see, the moving average starts getting closer together. It's creating this beautiful tight range here at the end. So this should have been back on our radar. We get another breakout day, another clean you know, break from the wedge here. Would have entered back in probably around 450 somewhere. Sold half, probably around for you know 515. Continued to trail the 10 day, and then this thing just kind of went with the wind, and it went all the way up to this day here. We would have sold around 836 dollars. So now, as we move along, another you know beautiful representation here. We would have sat out during all of this because there's no setup and it closed below the 10 day. We could have missed this entire year long chop fest and had our money somewhere else making money. This is why swing trading is so much better than investing guys. But this is where I would have got on my radar again because we have this nice long base forming. So you can see we're making high lows this entire entire time we start surfing these moving averages and then we break this range here i would not have entered on this because it was a lot higher than the average true range probably but as it starts tightening up along this 10 day this is when things would get interesting as we can see here we get a breakout we probably would have entered back around 804 or so i would have sold half my position on this day you know maybe around 835 and then continue to ride it all the way up until this day here would have stopped out at a thousand and twenty and then obviously we know there's been no good setups ever since then but yeah so that is what would have happened if we caught all the big Tesla moves with this breakout strategy so hopefully you can see the power of how that twenty five thousand dollars 
compounded so fast using only one stock only catching a couple setups now that is the power of finding the perfect trade so i hope you guys learned something from this video let me know if there's another stock you want me to do this with and i'll see y'all next time